Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Suncoast High takes on Spanish River tonight on School Duel. Welcome to School Duel, where 60 South Florida high schools competed online and the top 20 battle it out right here for bragging rights. Now, the ultimate winner of this academic tournament will walk away with a school trophy from Edco and a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. Now, with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. Now, as you see, this quarterfinal game features last year's school duel runner-up, Suncoast High versus Spanish River High in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the semifinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. <laughs> right. And one more thing before the battle begins. The student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the Chick-fil-A challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. <laughs> with the warning shot. In this round, it's school versus school, and each question is worth 10 points. Any questions answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, hope you're ready. Prepare for the warning shots. Here goes. Your first question deals with theories. What theory says the universe was created from a giant explosion, Cole? Big Bang Theory. Correct, good job. <laughs> All right, from French. Its use is recommended only in life-threatening situations where losing an arm or leg is better than death. Zach? Amputation. Incorrect, Spanish River. Give the French term for what you make by tying a limb so tight with fabric that the blood, Liam? Tourniquet. Yes, excellent, very good. All right, spelling. Spell the word there as used in, yes, Jacob R? T-H-E-I-R. Incorrect. Spell the word there as used in the sentence, I think they're home. I saw Jacob M. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. Correct, very good. All right. We are going to move on to fruits. Identify the acid that gives fruit a fruity flavor. Jacob M. Citric. Very good. All right. Geometry. Identify the term often used in coordinate geometry for flipping a figure across an axis. Yes, Jacob M. Reflection. Yes. All right. Railways. The Trans-Siberian Railway goes most of the way across which country? Jacob M. Russia. Yes, very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I Question, brought to you by the Fort Lauderdale Museum of Discovery and Science. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So if you're ready, here goes the question. Born in what is now Nepal, he retired to a forest and soon understood the four noble truths. Jacob R. Buddha. That's who we're talking about. Excellent. Here's a little tidbit. Buddha was originally born a wealthy prince. He left it all behind to pursue the path of truth when he saw the poverty and sickness beyond his palace walls. Let's move on to the next question that deals with billionaires. The yacht recently used by billionaire Paul Allen's team to get near a sunk Japanese battleship is named for what multi-armed sea creature? Yes, Jacob M. Octopus. Yes, very good. Next question, breathing. Most mollusks have a set of what objects also used by fish to breathe through? Yes, Karen? Chills. Yes, very good. All right, drama. Name the process in drama of getting the actors in a scene in the right place. Yes, Jacob M. Setting. 
Incorrect. Spanish River, listen carefully. Name the process and drama of getting the actors in a scene in the right places on the stage to develop the plot and help the play flow. Dara? Blocking. Yes, very good. <laughs> Companies. Its stock was down to $6 per share before a sudden celebrity endorsement. Name this WW company. Yes, Cole. Uh, WWE. Incorrect. Suncoast, listen carefully. Name this WW company that offers personalized coaching for obese people, and that is now 10%. Jacob M. Weight Watchers. Yes, very good. All right, moving on to a question about police. Give the official term for the ticket you get from a policeman for speeding or double. Cole? Citation. Yes, very good. Suncoast is leading. They have 70 points. Spanish River has 50. We'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Hello and welcome back to School Duel. The first round of action ended with Suncoast leading. They now have 70 points. Spanish River is not too far behind. They have 50 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's go ahead and take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. And we are going to start with the Suncoast Chargers. Welcome. <laughs> Let us start with Zach, who's a junior. Now, the question of the day is, Zach, if there were a movie based on your life, what would the title of the movie be? Uh, probably Sausage Party. I love food. <laughs> All right, interesting. Next to you is Alex as a junior. Same question for you, Alex. Uh, probably Shawshank Redemption. I, I enjoy breaking out of prisons. Oh, all right, interesting. Jacob M., you're a senior, and what's the title of the movie based on your life? I'd probably have to go with Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Just great comedy. All right, I like it. And the captain of Suncoast's team is Karen, who's a senior. Karen? Well, um, my life is all about journey, so what about the Karenbury tales? Oh, huh? I like it. Very creative. All right, round of applause for Suncoast. Nice big warm welcome for them. And let's go ahead and meet their competitors. They are the Spanish River Sharks. Welcome. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start with Liam, who's a senior. If there were a movie based on your life, what would the title of the movie be? Um, The Hobbit, because life's an adventure. All right, very nice. We have Dara, who's a junior. Uh, I'm going to go with Bridge to Darabithia. <laughs> very cute. I like it. Cole, you're a senior. You have to be white man can't jump. <laughs> all right, all right. No questions there. And the captain of Spanish River's team is Jacob R., who's a senior. I like the B movie because I like jazz. All right, excellent. Big round of applause for Spanish River. All right, I know they enjoy that question always. All right, now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust. Harry Player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. So, Karen, Jacob R., come on down. All right, here's your toss-up question.
question worth 10 points. In 1881, cartoonist Thomas Nast created the modern version of this bearded fictional Christmas character. Yes, Karen? Santa Claus? Yes, very good. We are now with Suncoast. Suncoast, the following bonus questions deal with cartoonist Thomas Nast. Bonus question number one. He created this animal to represent the Republican Party. Karen? An elephant. Yes, good job. Here's your second bonus question. He created this animal to represent the Democrat Party. Jacob M. Mule. Incorrect. It's the donkey. All right, bonus question number three. His cartoon of King Andy poked fun at this U.S. president who succeeded Lincoln. Yes, Karen. Andrew Johnson. Very good. Excellent. All right, Jacob M. and Cole, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your top question worth 10 points. Its tagline was, help is only 140 million miles away. Name this 2015 movie about an astronaut accidentally, Cole. The Martian. Yes, very good. All right, we're with Spanish River. The following bonus questions all deal with the movie, The Martian. With your first bonus question being, what actor played the astronaut, Mark, yes, Dara? Matt Damon. Yes, very good. Here's your second bonus question. She had a small role in it and is known for being a Saturday Night Live alum and starring in the movie Bridesmaids, Cole? Kristen Wiig. Yes, good. Here's your third bonus question. Name the movie's director, who also directed Black Hawk Down, Gladiator, and Blade Runner. Now we're talking about Ridley Scott. All right, Darren, Alex, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your topic question worth 10 points. The 2016 Summer Olympics were held in this largest country in both. Yes, Alex. Brazil. Yes, sir. Excellent. Suncoast, here you go. The following bonus questions all deal with the 2016 Summer Olympics. Bonus question number one. The Maria Link Aquatic Center hosted this sport in which swimming players tried to throw the ball into a net past Karen. Water polo. Yes, very good. <laughs> Question number two. Fort Copacabana hosted the swimming part of this event that also includes a bike ride and a run. Jacob M. Triathlon. Excellent. Bonus question number three. The U.S. won the team all around gold in this event and was led by Simone Biles. Jacob M. Gymnastics. Yes, very good. All right, Zach and Liam, come on down. It is your turn to joust. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Jimmy Carter's presidential library is in this southern state where he was once governor. Yes, Liam. Georgia. Yes, good job. Here we go, Spanish River. The following bonus questions all deal with identifying the state for the following presidential libraries. Bonus question number one. In which state would you find George W. Bush's presidential, Liam? Texas. Yes, good job. <laughs> bonus question number two. In which state would you find Ronald Reagan's presidential library? Yes, Liam? California. Yes. <laughs> bonus question number three. In which state would you find Gerald Ford's presidential library? Liam? Michigan. Yes, good job. Yeah. Well done. And that horn means the end to the joust. We do have Suncoast leading. They have 140 points. Spanish River, again, not too far behind with 120 points. But we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. We love Magnet Programs! From elementary to high school, Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs provide extra opportunities and experiences for students in specific fields of study. International Baccalaureate, Military Academy, Montessori, Performance and Visual Arts, Sciences, and many others. The programs are free. Shop early for your child's education. Apply online today at BrowardSchools.com. Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs. Missing school? You're missing out. Regular attendance equals education, and education equals success. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Oh, we're local.
local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school duel champion. Now today's game has last year's runner-up Suncoast High competing against Spanish River High. Currently Suncoast is leading. They have 140 points. Spanish River is not too far behind. They have 120 points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for the rapid fire round. During this round, schools receive a category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Questions are worth 10 points, and if any questions are answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Since Spanish River is trailing, they will have the opportunity to pick their category. And today's choices are, if you New England, or never too old West. So which category would you like, Spanish River? We're going to go with If You Knew England. If You Knew England. All right, schools. Here comes the rapid fire. <laughs> Spanish River. In this category, the questions all deal with New England and its history. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So are you ready? Let's begin. Sap from what New England tree is used to make syrup? Maple. What is last on the alphabetical list of New England states? Rhode Island. Patriot, whose name became a slang expression for a signature? John Hancock. Capital of Pennsylvania? Harrisburg. Plymouth Rock is in what New England state? Massachusetts. This quarterback won four Super Bowls. Tom Brady. Name the largest New England state. Uh, Maine. Name this patriot famous for his midnight ride. Paul Revere. What Nathaniel Hawthorne novel dealt with? Scarlet Letter. What major mountain range runs through many New England states? White. All right, good job, Spanish River. You got through all of your questions. Sun Coast, let's see if you know the answer to this. What major mountain range runs through many? Jacob M. Appalachian. Yes, very good. Nice deal. All right, Sun Coast, here's the next one. What is last on the alphabetical list of New England? Yes, Karen? Vermont. Yes, very good. All right, Sun Coast, here we go. Never too old West. In this category, the questions all deal with Western states and Old West history. Each question is worth 10 points, and remember, you must answer these quickly, or the judge will move you on. Are you ready? Let's begin. What major river forms part of the U.S.-Mexico border? The Rio Grande. Name of Butch Cassidy's partner? Sundance Kid. What's the capital of Arizona? Phoenix. Name for the horse-driven mail service of the Old West? Pony Express. The Oklahoma Land Rush inspired this nickname for the University of Oklahoma? Sooners. What adjective indicates Old West towns that have been abandoned? Ghost town? Missouri was on one end of the Santa Fe Trail. What state's on the other? New Mexico. This city's NFL nickname comes from the Gold Rush of 1849. San Francisco. The theft of branded livestock is what crime? Robbery. What's the last Western state alphabetically? Wyoming. Very good. Excellent, Sun Coast. You got through all your questions. You only missed one. So let's see if Spanish River can steal. The theft of branded livestock is what crime? Liam? Cow rustling. Very good. All right. Good job. We still have Suncoast leading. They now have 250 points. Spanish River now has 210 points. But let's go ahead and take a short break, and then we will be back for the final showdown. <laughs> Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. 
Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. We've got a good game going as Suncoast High is holding on to their lead over Spanish River. Current score, 250 to 210. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Schools go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points. Now remember, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal the points. All right, schools, this is for a spot in the semifinals. It is time for the final showdown. Our first question deals with universities. What Pac-12 college's mascot is a Husky and is based in Cole? University of Washington. Broadway, name the recent Broadway musical featuring the songs Horton Sits on the Egg and Yes, Jacob M. Horton, here's a who. Incorrect, Spanish River. Dara? Seems to call the musical. Philosophers, name the German philosopher whose quote, workers of all lands unite. Yes, Jacob R. Marx. Steroids, which steroid and sex hormone makes a man a man? By Jacob M. Testosterone. Spelling, this French word is often used by magicians to say, check this out. Jacob M. V-O-I-L-A. Ancient plays, an ancient Greek play tells how he kills his wife and children in a fit, Karen? Uh, Hercules. Measurements, how many ounces are in three pounds? Karen? Uh, 48. World geography, what is the largest country by area on the Ibi- Jacob R? Spain. Values, what physical constant's value is 186,000 miles per second? Zach? The speed of light. The alphabet, what is the 11th letter of the alphabet? Jacob M. Okay. Car companies. What Italian car company now owns Chrysler and makes the 500? Jacob R. Ferrari. Incorrect, Suncoast. Alex. Fiat. NBA stars. He won his second straight All-Star Game MVP award in 2016. Name this star point guard for the NBA's Oklahoma Cole. Russell Westbrook. Languages. Hong Kong's official languages are English, Karen. Cantonese. Noble gases, which noble gas that glows red when electrified makes it, yes, Zach? Argon. Incorrect, Spanish River. Which noble gas that glows red when electrified makes it visible in the front windows of small stores? Dara. Neon. Representation. Richard Henry Lee and Thomas Jefferson signed the Declaration of Independence. Represent Jacob R. Virginia. Singers, name the British singer whose hit song, Hello, appears on, Dara. Adele. Movies. What most recent James Bond movie is named, yes, Karen? Spectre. Highest points, name the U.S. state whose highest point is Hoosier Hill? Jacob Barr. Indiana. U.S. government, identify the federal department whose secretary serves as the voice of U.S. business within the president's cabinet. Karen? Secretary of Commerce or Department of Commerce, yeah. Stories, in the story of Alibaba and the 40 thieves, to get into the cave, he must, Karen? Open sesame. Money math. For the first 30 years, a book's value decreases by half for each decade of its age. A book originally sells for $40. How much is it worth? Yes, Jacob M? Five. Actresses. In the recent TV version of the musical Grease, the character Rizzo was played by... Yes, Karen? Oh, uh, uh, Vanessa... Shoot. <laughs> All right, Spanish River Dara? Vanessa Hudgens. Notable deaths. He received his position in 1986 and held it until his death in 2016. Name this first, Jacob R. Scalia. Very good, and that sound brings the end of this school duel game. And Sanko High held their lead throughout the show, going on to winning with a final score of 490. But Spanish River did an amazing job. They are ending with 430 points. Suncoast, this win is putting you into the semifinal. So congratulations. And of course, great job to everyone. Now this
also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll please, Karen from Suncoast. Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Of course, at this time, I'd like to thank you at home for watching, and thank you to all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Now, don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved and watch past shows. And remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. And most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 7 p.m. as Cypress Bay High takes on Coral Springs High in the first semifinal match. Goodbye, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users.